Welcome back to bazookatraining.com sparring section. In today's workout, we're gonna be focusing on defending the jab and using our kicks, okay? So a lot of times in all combat sports, it's always block the punches, counter with the punches. But kickboxing, mixed martial arts, you always have to think about using your kicks versus punches. That's the bazooka specialty. So I'm gonna show you, we're gonna start slow with just the jab and then as the channel progresses and as the website grows, you're gonna be able to get all the timing and all the different strategies to kick fight versus boxing. Okay, so the number one thing about kick fighting is using your timing. And there's no better way to use the timing is my right low kick versus your jab. Okay, so what's this drill is? Before we even get into timing the kick versus the punch, we have to block the punch. So what we're gonna do is Matt's gonna start throwing the jab and I'm gonna block it. So how do I wanna block to be able to get my low kicks, okay? First thing I'm gonna probably do is use a parry. So Matt jabs, I parry and I kick at the same time, okay? I parry and I kick. Right, that's the best timing, right? It's nice and quick, it's together, right? So that's the key, so my parry, boom. So, sorry, we're not kicking yet, so Matt throws the jab, I parry. He jabs again, I use the wedge, right? The second one, so parry lets me attack the leg. Wedge keeps me loaded to allow me to attack, okay? Can you use head movement? Yes, right? I would say more head movement to create an angle. So Matt throws a jab, I can step off on this angle and attack the leg, which is a beautiful angle and it's nice, right? So at still, defending it is by moving away from it. So those are your three ways to defend the jab, okay? So we'll practice this first and then we'll get into more of the timing, okay? So play around with the three. Matt throws the jab. Boom, pass it, boom, throws here, I step out. Okay, reset, moving, boom, boom, boom. And I just keep practicing those different three, okay? Let's start with that, get our distance, get our comfort block in the jab. And this is when you'll start feeling out the timing a little bit. You'll start understanding it, okay? Beautiful. Okay, get comfortable, move it, create angles, circle around a bit. If you find they're pressuring you, circle around, create your space, okay? Exit out, good. Remember, block first. And even when you get into the drill, you wanna encourage, right? When I get into my fights, I come forward with the high guard saying, you know what, come, throw the jab, right? Because I know that is an opportunity for me to be able to chop the legs. All right, as soon as someone punches, they put their weight on their front leg, which means I can chop it and get some free low kicks, okay? So using those types of three. And remember, these, these workouts, it's not about the workout itself, it's more about the drill. I'm teaching you the concepts, so I'm not necessarily gonna give you, you know, set three minute one partner, three minute the other partner. This is where you get to develop, right? This drill can be done 20 minutes nonstop. It can be done two minutes as a quick warm up. So you use the drill to your liking. Use it as something that's more relaxed. Use something that's more fight concept related in your training, right? So use this drill to your liking. But the idea is understand the concept. Okay, time. So now that we have the blocking, the defense, the movement to defend the jab, this is where we're gonna start countering with it. Now, using the kick versus this, punch, it's always like to use my rear side. So the safest, easiest way, what I could do is if Matt throws the jab, I step and I create distance. One, I evaded the punch, he stepped down, and I chopped the leg. So that's one of the most simple timing. Matt throws, I step out, I chop the leg. That's the timing. So I'm throwing the low kick after the jab, right? So after, punch, after, okay? Now, the one, I can throw it during. So as it comes during, that's where my parry comes in really well, right? So here, distance, boom. Parry, I could, it's coming to my face, I redirect it and I chop at the same time. If Matt counters with the right hand, I'm parrying here and I've managed distance, okay? So, the parry, or I use my wedge. Wedge, chop, which is more after, during. Now, the other timing I could do is before, which, so what does that mean before? How do I know what he's doing? It's the anticipation. I'm trying to anticipate the step. So if, I, if I'm here with Matt and I jab him, 
So, boom, right away, I'm thinking he might jab back. As soon as I think he's going to lift his foot to go, I chop the leg. And a lot of times they are, so I can shut down the jab before it's even thrown. Or even if he steps, boom, I'll meet it quick. So I might catch him with a half jab being out, and I might chop him. But I just got to make sure my defense is nice and strong, okay? So let's just work this round for a couple minutes. Just let's work the low kick timing and with the different ones. So stepping out, attacking, stepping out. Out, attacking, wedging, right, or pairing, okay? Here, pairing, wedge, okay? So just practicing chopping and think about those different timings, the, the before, the durings, the afters with those types of good defense, all right? Let's get into it. Nice and long, find the timing. Now, I don't want you to low kick off of every jab, okay? I want you to block a few, move, set yourself, and then when you feel ready and you feel like you're in a good position, that's when I want you to attack with the kick, okay? We're just starting with low kicks. Now, the question I get a lot is, should the partner block? No, I mean, this is a good time for, you know, your partner to work on taking low kicks. So, you know, control, the person kicking, control it, but at the same time, you know, you should be able to take low kicks without, you know, creating too much damage in drilling. And a lot of times with these drills, I'll, I'll do these with bare shin because even when you're kicking, you gotta find the placement of your shin. Timing is one thing, but how you land with the, the right part of your shin at the right time is really important, okay? So strong defense to be able to land your low kick is key, okay? A few more seconds here. Remember, you got wedge, you have parry, you have footwork, and distance and head movement, right? Before, during, and after timing. Now, what you can do here, right? Now, time. What you can do here during this drill to make it a little bit more advanced is what is the counter to the kick, right? Is the rear hand. So if I you, you parry, every so often this person needs to just throw that hand, okay? Just to keep you, you know, reference. So if Matt throws a jab and I'm keeping my hand here, I have to realize that that's the next logical shot. So I have to be prepared. So how do I be prepared? I understand. So if Matt throws the jab and I'm long now, okay, length avoids the rear hand. Okay. If Matt throws the jab and I step over here, angle avoids the rear hand. I'm safe. Now if I stay there and, and I'm going to use parry, here, at least my hand was here. I'm safe. It's in the way. He goes to wedge. I'm here. At least I'm prepared for it to be able to either, one, stay there and block my head, or to be able to evade. Okay? So let's just practice that for about another minute here, just to, just to get you practicing that that is the logical counter to your kick. Okay? So remember, don't have to kick on every jab. Set them up. And every so often, just throw that nice rear hand, uh, partners. Good. Yeah, just, it's all about understanding, right? And now if you have a small MMA glove, right, moving your head, understanding distance control, maybe throwing your kick and exiting out further is the strategy, right? Too many times now with mixed martial arts and everybody's getting a little calf kick hungry, right? And what that means now is everyone's attacking it, but the problem is now people are starting to develop the counters really well with it. So now you have to be a little bit more creative and a little bit more understanding of what's going to happen when you throw that kick. Good. Kick fighting versus the jab. Ten more seconds in this drill. And time, okay. Remember, we're just focusing on lead hand today because otherwise this is gonna be years long video. There's so many different subtleties to kick fighting. So now, once I have the leg, right, I also have the option to kick the body. So if Matt jabs, I can go underneath, which is nice. So leg and underneath. Going underneath is the perfect kick because it's now letting me to hit the body, I got the ribs, I got a good angle, okay? Now, with this kick, right, uh, those who've been following me a while understand that a kick isn't just a kick here. You have to understand you have to change the angles. So if Matt's elbows are in like this, right, I'll show you with my left kick, at this point, 
I'm gonna kick the arm so it's round and wide. Now, if Matt's here like this now, I don't wanna kick his elbow, so I have to make an angle adjustment by going 45. So now I change the angle, I go 45. If his elbow comes down, I kick round, okay? Same thing here, if his arm's tucked in, I'm gonna kick round, kick the arm. As soon as he, it's out a little bit, I kick the 45, I go underneath. So now when doing this drill, he jabs, Boom, I touch, he jabs, I can touch, jab, boom, okay? So you can see now, I'm defending strong off of his side, and I'm picking away with my rear side, and this is almost called, not almost called, it's, it's using the principle of called shield and sword. So I'm blocking with my shield, and I'm attacking around with my sword. So I'm blocking with my shield, and I'm attacking with my sword, right? So you can see how I'm attacking, even the calf, front kick, round kick, block, chop, backwards, attack, boom, bang, boom, right? So I'm constantly using different angles and different levels to counter the jab. Front kicks, low kicks, body kicks, okay? Let's play around that. The key is the good defense, all right? Let's go play around. We'll do about a minute, uh, a minute and a half on each side. We'll let both sides practice on this one. Remember, don't counter off of every time. Block a few, set yourself up, and then always change levels. Look for the calf, look for the quad, look for the body, and the front kicks as well. Remember, don't get hit is the key. Kick fighting versus punches. Your legs weigh more, they're longer, they just heavier and do a lot of damage, so. And the beautiful thing is, a lot of people don't know how to use their kicks as well as we do. So let's use that as, and as an advantage when we get into the fights. Use kick fighting. Good, nice distance, nice range, good control. And play with your level, right? Play with your style. If this is a good drill to do with no shin guards, if, if you're a, a high level amateur or a pro fighter who fights with no gear on, this is a perfect drill because the consequence of you know, hitting elbows to hurt your shin, you need placement, you need control, you need precision. It's teaching you a lot more than just countering with kicks, right? And let's try the other partner now, almost there. Good, different levels, different angles, good control. You'll quickly realize that these little drills build up very quickly, and you'll notice once you practice them, they come out really easily in your sparring. All right, so while we, they finish up this drill, I'll keep talking here, all right? So one of the key things here that we really want to learn is one, offense is important, yes, but we have to start practicing and implementing defense. Not enough teams practice defense as a system. So the idea of these sparring drills is I'm gonna give you a system. I'm gonna show you defense and ways to attack. Attack, defend, and attack. Okay, this is where, you know, the bazooka curriculum is gonna really help you out. I don't wanna have you get these hard sparring rounds to take the brain damage to learn these types of concepts. The idea of this section here is these drills will help you practice things that you wouldn't necessarily learn in training and have to learn in fights, okay? This is fight tested. I've used it in all of my fights and all of my teammates and my fighters use this concept really, really well, okay? Drillers make killers, and this section here is gonna, by the end, you're gonna have so many different drills that you can do with your partner. Bag work, homework, and now partner drills, bazookatraining.com has you covered. All right, we'll see you next time here on the sparring section, which I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.